Islanders, we have a question we're going to ask and answer on the show today. Is Carnival Cruise Line falling behind their competitors, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, MSC, and others, as they take the stance, we're not building any new cruise ships until 2026 or 2027. Meanwhile, you have other cruise lines across the industry building ships at record pace. There have been a boatload, or shipload, I guess, of new ships be built last year this year and for years to come. Think about this. We've had the Norwegian Prima, the Norwegian Viva, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, Virgin Voyage's Brilliant Lady, MSC's Eurabia, and the Carnival Celebration. Those are just new cruise ships last year, this year, and there's so much to come. Why do we talk about this? We're talking about this because Royal Caribbean is dominating the market right now. Their second new build cruise ship, uh, the Utopia of the Seas touch water for the first time, and it's begging this question, and we have to ask it. It's Carnival falling behind. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. Hey, big happy Tuesday to all you Islanders. We hope that you're having a great day. We certainly are right here on Island Time. I am Derek. Let's drop our anchors and take some time to relax in the islands together as we catch up on the latest in happenings in the cruise news world. There's a lot going on. We're about to get to this question. Is Carnival falling behind the rest of the industry as they take their stance of we are not building new cruise ships, although they're adding capacity. We'll talk about that. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest in cruising and cruise news, be sure you're subscribed to this channel. You ring that bell to receive notifications when we upload content. Let's talk about Royal Caribbean for a second. They are dominating the market. They're dominating the cruise news as the utopia of the seas touches water for the first time. Listen to this, the utopia of the seas. What we think is the last of the Oasis class touch water for the first time. Here are some pictures of her right here. This moment was 17 months in the making. Construction started 17 months ago. It took 46 million gallons of water to fill up her dry dock in France, and she was floated out, and now she is at the outfitting dock. The work continues on the interior portions of the ship. The Utopia of the Seas, of course, we think is the last Oasis-class ship, but she will have several first on board. Listen to this experience. There's a new interactive dining experience where guests will sit there and it will replicate a classic train car ride. You're gonna enjoy your meal as uh, you go on a journey to various destinations. Of course, your food and cuisine is gonna match what you're going by. We're excited about this new experience. On top of these new things though, the Utopia of the Seas is going to have guest favorites, customer favorites that are other Oasis class ships, but she has several new things, including this experience that's gonna take place the Utopia of the Seas will be the very first Oasis class ship, new built ship to go on three and four day cruises. Royal Caribbean announced that the Allure of the Seas is gonna start this program of shorter cruises, but the Utopia will be a brand new ship. And next summer, she will sell three and four day cruises from Port Canaveral going to Perfect Day at Coco Cay and a stop in the Bahamas for those longer cruises. We're excited about the Utopia of the Seas, but she's not the only thing good that's going on for Royal Caribbean. You see, there's this other New ship, it's kind of called like the icon of the seas. It's uh, the, going to be the largest cruise ship in the world. The Utopia of the Seas is set to be the second largest cruise ship of the world. Yes, Royal Caribbean is building a one, two punch of newest cruise ships. The two largest cruise ships in the world being built right now by Royal Caribbean, but they're not the only ones building new cruise ships. Norwegian is still building cruise ships. They have the Viva and the Prima, of course, are out, but they have four more cruise ships coming in the years ahead. These four more cruise ships will be bigger than the Viva and the Prima. They're not the only ones. MSC says get out of the way as they continue to build cruise ships as fast as they can. They try to get into the North American market, which they're doing. Disney just announced today they're spending $60 billion dollars Coming up on both parks and cruises, we know that they are building two new cruise ships as well. The Carnival Corporation, they announced, of course, this was Q1 of their earnings report. We're not building any new cruise ships after the Carnival Jubilee until 2026 or 2027. You probably remember that. Now, their stance is probably still the same. We're going to find out some more updated information as, as their Q3 earnings report is later this month on the 29th. They will be asked about this because they're taking a different approach about new cruise ship builds. You see, Carnival Corporation says, we are in debt. So are other cruise lines. But Carnival Corporation says, instead of investing in new cruise ship builds, 
we're going to take our money and pay off some of our debt. While other cruise lines uh, that we've mentioned on the show today, they are taking uh, their money, they're investing it in their ships, and they're saying, if we build it, they will come. We can charge outrageous prices for new cruise ship builds and cruises. We'll take the money that we're going to get from these new cruise ship builds uh, and cruises and revenue, and we're going to pay off our debt that way. It's been interesting to see the difference here. But Carnival has stood their ground, and they say after the Carnival Jubilee, we're not building anymore until 2026. You may remember, I'll, I'll quote this here from Josh Weinstein, who, of course, is running the show at Carnival Corporation, the parent company of Carnival Cruise Line. We have the lowest order book in decades. There will be none, referring to new cruise ship builds in 2026. That was in Q1 uh, earnings reports. He also said one or two, and whether that starts in 2027 or after 2027 is still a question mark. So you may have one or two, not Carnival Cruise Line new ships, but Carnival Corporation ships. Meanwhile, everyone else continues to build. But Carnival Corporation, let's give them their credit where credit is due. We're going to be fair, of course, on the show. That's what we do here. Carnival Corporation is adding capacity. They are adding ships to their brand, Carnival Cru uh, Cruise Line. We all know Costa Cruises has hurt. Uh, they're still hurting from the pandemic, and um, some markets aren't open. They moved the Luminosa over to Carnival Cruise Line. They moved the Venezia to Carnival Cruise Line. And the Frense is coming next year. So Carnival says, Carnival Cruise Line, they say, we are building our capacity. We have 11% more capacity than what we had a year ago. And that is true. They also have the Carnival Celebration, which came out last year. The Carnival Jubilee coming out this year. But after that, there's nothing new until 2027. What's going to be interesting to see is that if these recycled cruise ships from other cruise brands will be as effective as new cruise ship builds. One thing that's positive for the customer, I see this every day, Amanda and I in our travel agency business, is that these ships that have been brought over from Costa are not as much, they don't cost as much to go on vacation to cruise on than the new cruise ship builds. But you also have to ask yourself, what's the customer willing to pay, right? It's great that the price is lower on these recycled cruise ships, but if customers would pay a higher price on a new ship, should you then build a new ship? We also have to think about this. And Islanders, I want you to weigh. <laughs> weigh your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section on this. When you cruise, when you look at cruising, are you happy with these new ships that are brought over from sister lines? Or does it entice you to see that brand new cruise ship built, the brand new venues and features and layouts that you haven't seen before? Does that entice you more? Let us know what you would rather have, these recycled cruise ships or new cruise ships. Let us know uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. And really for the first time in a long time, we're starting to see passengers who are faithful to one cruise line, whether it be Royal Caribbean or Carnival, they're starting to cross lines and they're starting to try different lines. I think a lot of this comes from new cruise ships. The marketing that's taking place and what's available on some of these ships is unbelievable. And there's nothing wrong, believe it or not, there is nothing wrong with you being a faithful brand cruiser and saying, you know what, I want to go try that ship over there. I want to go cruise on that ship. I know I've never cruised MSC, but it looks good. It looks fun. The price is right. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I encourage people to do that every single day. Is Carnival falling behind? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let us know as well. Do you prefer those recycled ships over new ship builds? Or do you prefer those new cruise ships? Let us know your thoughts. That is the cruise news for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like if you did. Of, of course, we'll see in the comment section below on our Facebook page and tomorrow right here on Island Time.